I have been waiting all day to talk to you guys. All day. Yeah, I woke up where I went to bed going, okay, this is my plan for 4th of July. And then it was kind of a uh, hazy, foggy day. Neurologically, it's just the weather. Yesterday was super dry and hot and uh, I was in and out of the RV sweating. Today is, uh, anyway, it's okay. I drank a cup of tea, an extra cup of tea. I did all my flare care. I came up with that word today, flare care. Uh, all my supplements, eating and drinking and walking and trying to just really get the uh, momentum going. And I have just enough to make a few videos and then maybe just lay around and edit for the fourth. Sounds like fun, huh? It is. To be in this house by myself is fun. It, because every moment it's my life. Whatever I want to eat, whatever I want to work on, whatever I want to think about, shoot. Um, yeah, it's good. Even though June was a bounce around, sleep on this couch, sleep on that couch, I got a bed here and there, <laughs> and and a couple interruptive sleep nights, you know, it, it, my, my sleeping wasn't that good, so my days weren't that good. I just loved cooking and um, feeding people because, man, I just, I have a need to feed, <laughs> as my little nephew says. July is feels really active and strong and um, because I'm alone and I'm, I've been already in just the three, this is two and a half days I've been alone, I have emptied a lot of the RV, put the couch back and uh, taken the mattress out of the RV and lots and lots of things. Today, I'm cleaning this out. I'm taking it all out no matter what it is. That's my goal today. Yep, that's our goal. That she is. made a mess. She has to clean the mess. <laughs> I made a mess. That's not a mess. It just... Well, she made a mess, so she has to clean it. I do. I will. And you're going to help me. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. You made a mess. That wasn't my mess. It that's wasn't? your mess. You sure? I'm sure. I think there's some toys up there. Is there? Is there toys up here? No. <laughs> no, just strollers, clothes, shoes, and tools. That's it. Well, I'm not cleaning that because it's your mess. Okay. Look at that pile of shoes. I was supposed to go through them. A lot of those came from Michigan. There's a couple where there's only just one shoe. So that's going down by half. Maybe by two-thirds. I'm going to tear this bed apart now. Take all the bedding off and put the mattress up there. Because I'm going to wash the bedding anyway. Or the cover. That cover. So it doesn't matter if it's dirty up there. Just gonna get it up there to show myself how far out I have to come. Like how far I need this piece of, a new piece in order to maintain my step. But I'm gonna hit my head cause I get in and out, I drive a lot. But I don't know. Oops, sorry, I don't know. I really need just four inches with a little space foam on top. I hear it's the best. That is a full-size Tempur-Pedic. I mean, a single Tempur-Pedic. And you can see it even fits with... It's not even as long as the couch pulled out. Ideally, that I would like to take about... I don't know. What is that? 8? 12? About 8 inches off. And then have that as a couch... A day bed. But I'm not going to take the folding couch out right now because it's just too convenient. It's so fun to throw everything out your door. It won't be there long. I get to wash all my pillow, pillowcases. That's what you do when you're at a place for an extended period of time. It's deep cleaning time and the things you don't normally do when you're at a laundromat.
And that's the only thing I had under there that provided enough support. Enough. Not ideal, but enough. The wood's out. The great big black comforter is out. I don't think that's coming back because it gives shocks. And I don't want it in. I'm changing my color scheme anyway. No more black. And she's up. She's up and she's ugly. <laughs> this also provides a lot of storage space. It's the perfect size for a bin. So I lose that when I put the couch up. But it's worth it. I want my couch. You know how much I love having a couch. I feel more productive. I feel more normal. <laughs> a second pile. Yep, a second one. Some tools. More clothes that came out. That's all from upstairs. Upstairs, yes, the loft. This is my hat bag. It's half empty. I got rid of half of them. And I'm going to get rid of another half. I swear. You'll help me. I'll try them all on for you. <laughs> Just kidding. Here's a pizza crust that I got at the dollar store. It was a tip from Cliff. And, uh, well, it's crispy. <laughs> it wasn't. It was soft. But I think it's ready now. It's only a couple months old. It's probably still good though, right? I'll take a bite later. Something I frequently do is I take on big projects and then I am belabored trying to finish them. So I'm going to stop right now and put my piles away. My first one is already blocking the garage path, so I'm going to finish that before I do any more unloading. I'm going to pull out the air conditioner and I'm going to set it on a plastic bin and get it in the window so that I can spend the mornings and the evenings out here doing something <laughs> or just being out here. Because when I'm in here, I'm happy. Even today when it's a hundred and probably seven heat index, but it's dry, it's not humid, so I can walk and talk. And sweat. I love it. Uh-oh. You are not going to see me. There is no way. This is it. My hand. Maybe tomorrow. I'll show you me. Woo -hoo. Actually, it was the fire ants I saw crawling all over my stuff that made me stop and take care of these piles. It wasn't some sort of aha moment where I was trying to be all smarty pants. Darn it. Mm -mm. I was trying to get this carpet out and I didn't know that I had a jar of money. Well, I mean, I knew I had it. A jar of change. And it fell. A little mason jar that I had a little cut a little slit in. Look at all that money. And then I would just keep it by the dash. Uh, okay. Well, I need to pause, go cool off, and then collect my riches here. Um, did you find a cool place to lay down, huh? What are you doing on Jacqueline's table? Huh? <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to be up there. So behind my solar panels and this little access panel, this is my battery disconnect and it's not it's not going on or off and I turned it off to kill possible drains that might be on the um, batteries while I was parked and now it won't go back on I'm trying to find a place to 
talk about everything that I did today and the electrical issue that's going on or charging or something. And out here, it's at 105, it's not it, but it is quiet. The air conditioner just blows inside, makes so much noise. Well, my RV tech and I have been texting back and forth about the issue. We talked a little bit. I'm going to keep it charged all night, but I don't believe that the batteries are charging because that cutoff switch is cutting off the power to them. That's a battery disconnect. So you can't charge something that's disconnected. So how do I get that? I, I had this happen once before and I drove the RV around and it seemed like it charged the house battery enough to get the switch on. So that's what I'm gonna to try tomorrow. Here's where I have three of the AGM. These are 80 amp hour batteries that are tied in together mm -hmm. and then they're tied into the house battery, which is the same battery. Okay. So Eric gave me four of those. Eric and then did? Yeah, he got four hey, new ones. They were old. It's right under our RV. <laughs> you wanna be rich? Um yeah. Okay, I, I wanna be rich. Joey. Wait careful, let's No no uh, there's let's glass, the honey. Glass. No, no, you can't do that. Let there's mommy glass. do it, okay? Yeah. Let mommy get the glass, okay? I, I shot. And I get the money. Uh, this is all the money Joey Claire has. <laughs> <laughs> How Seriously. did you know that? Uh, yeah, I think we need to make sure Joey Claire gets this money back. <laughs> no. She doesn't I have, give me that. Sweetie, I think you have more money than Joey Claire. Yeah, I think you should give me your piggy bank. Yeah, that would double her income. That would sure. double my net worth. Double her net worth. <laughs> Why well, Jennifer is gathering all of my assets together. <laughs> that they found underneath the RV. I'm gonna go show you what she's done to her RV because she originally had the booth dinette set up and we all hey, know those. Table. You're gonna show it to me, Sawyer? Hold on. Are you gonna give me the official tour? Did you wanna put your shirt on correctly or did you wanna do it just like that? I was going to like this. Oh. Oh. Nice. nice. Something different. So this was her booth dinette, which you'll Watch out! There's an evil TV coming to eat you behind you. <laughs> oh, and he has this TV that... And it moves. It moves. It moves. That's nice. Excuse so me. she already realized the booth dinette was uncomfortable and that she's going to get one of those table Look, over things. Look, it's movie. Look, the monster. The TV monster is movie. Oh, no. So it's basically a brand new RV and I'll show you pictures of it. And like Jennifer said, we were sitting down there talking. So yeah, there's, there's, I'll sh there's probably a couple pictures. Um, like Jennifer and I were just talking about at the table. She goes, I think new RVs are boring. And, and what she meant was, is it's kind of right. They're just boring. It's brand new. Everything's perfect. She said, I love it when someone buys an old RV and guts it and does different things with it. But Jennifer has a son and is going on some big, long road trips, and she needed... Oh, the wind's probably blowing. <sighs> Let me go over here. And she needed reliable and safe and small 22... 24 feet. 22 R's, 24 feet. Oh, it's beautiful. No. Beautiful. Mm. Recording. Whoa, whoa, no. You can hold it. See? And just pay attention to and hold it really still when you walk. Okay. So, Mom, what are you doing? I am what are you doing, Mom? Up the money that uh, broke, that was in a jar, the money jar. Okay. I'm trying to get all the What are you doing, Joy Claire? I'm watching Jennifer count and uh, count all my assets. Do you know okay. what assets are? Hold nope. the camera still, honey. You move, keep it really still. Otherwise, people get sick to their stomach. He's going to be my new cameraman. So, no, that was my little change jar that crashed and broke. <laughs> Let me see. Um, yeah. Welcome to the food band. So, you're right about that, man. Wait in line. The couch is up. The bed is out. Yep. Yeah, you'll be shocked. Yeah. I'm shocked already. Show me where your water is. So, do you want to work here? You know, work this week? Do I want to work in, 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 what's the name of my RV? Backpack. Yeah, good job. What's the name of your RV? Campfire. 
campfire, yeah. yeah I try to be very okay, we're on. Okay, why are we, what are we recording? What are we recording? You're the one who wanted to come out here. I wanted to, I because, said, let's go to the RV and then you turn on the camera. I want to see your um, Because water you water. are taking a course. I am. Yeah, what's it called? Um, I'm in a class and taking the test to become a registered RV repair technician. <laughs> and you're also the a licensed... Professional counselor. Yes. So you're going to have that on your card? I am. Absolutely. <laughs> and so you called me. You sent me the link, which is probably going to be down below in this video. Yeah. And you sent me the link and you said... Um, yeah, is there anything in your RV you want me to <laughs> look <broken>. at? <laughs> and I went, and you were totally serious. I mean, yeah, because I kind of thought it was and, working. I mean, I don't know what I thought. But, I mean, I had this The question should have been, is is there anything that isn't... You've owned this for a few years. 20. I remember. No, no, this. No, you, we bought that last... Was um, that just last year? Last fall, okay. when I was taking off. When okay. Eric it came to rescue me. It installed? In the desert? No, no, the because at the at the RTR, I was too busy talking to people, and people offered, and I said, "Sure, later." I wasn't going to stop okay. meeting with people, but right, okay. Do you want to go see where I my? Um, yes, I do. So this is going to be your first um, intern. Yeah. This is interning. My project car. Your project car. Gonna, so no, I do. I want to see this. I want to see where this goes. Something happened. Something terrible happened. It, it was like a giant explosion. It was so big. It was just like RV. Yeah, just like... Today? That looks like an explosion of a food fight? Yes. <laughs> is, that, is that a good thing for a oh kid? Oh my god, is somebody OCD? Oh, look at this cabinet. Oh yeah, and I got reprimanded because I put the purple one inside the pink one. And Jack goes, um, it's color coordinated? And I go, oh my god, she needs help. Yeah, and that looked better up there, but I actually messed it up, and her that cups is, are messed up. That is dis that's disturbing. I used to have that. Problem. It is disturbing. And then you can see my green stuff mixed in with hers and my paper plates. It was yeah. all white and perfect. Oh, my God. But that's it'll be. So but anyway, so here's, I showed you guys this earlier, or you may have not seen it, but this is the lunch that I made. It's just. A food fight. That's what I'm going to call it. Food fight. Food fight. Yeah, it's really, really. Is it good? Yes. 